Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my portfolio that got me into amazing schools and also at the end I'll be sharing some tips and tricks on how to better your portfolio so you can get into amazing schools as well. So my first piece is a self-portrait. I decided to put this as my first piece because it's basically putting a face to the application. And also this is one of my um, more stronger pieces so I felt more comfortable putting it so first. my next piece is bills in different currency this represents my past present and future this is also sketchbook work so I decided it would be a good fit to so my next piece is a observational piece this is a drawing of a necklace it wasn't finished but even when it wasn't finished I felt it was pretty much complete and it shows drawing process. So the next few slides are basically my process in creating a typeface. So this current slide is showing my typeface mood board. This slide here is showing my type specimen mood board and these two mood boards help me create and design my type specimen in general. So this slide right here is basically the characters that I came up with based off the typeface mood board. So in this slide I did alphabets, numerals, and punctuation. And this is how it all came together. This is each and every one of the pages. There was also more pages but I just decided to showcase these. After that, after everything was printed and binded, I decided to take pictures to show how everything came together to show the vividness to show like how it would look binded and also I feel like it looks better when it's live and in front of your face than when it's just a 2d image and it also shows dedication to me taking it to its final stage this next piece is another self-portrait I made um, I used oil and it's my favorite snapchat filter so these next few slides are also another project that I did for a brand design this time so these are my typeface sketches um, the brand is called geometric this is the final design that I decided to use this is the color the black and white version up on top and the three main colors that I used this is it on fabric so I want to see how it would look in real life, basically how it would be in production. Then I also did it on another um, fabric and on the right is the packaging. This is just a box with the sub letters at the bottom, apparel that shapes you. This is another packaging, this time with a business card at the bottom. This one also has tags and it's in metallic. So I was really proud of how this one came out. So this next piece is me um, showing a word using the word. It was a simple exercise in one of my classes and I kind of like how it came out. This piece here is a sculpture I did a few years back. Um, it broke while I took this picture but I decided to just glue it and take the picture anyways. This piece is a magazine cover. Um, with my magazine called Z Mags. It's kind of corny, but it was on a whim and kind of experimental. This next piece is one of my favorite pieces because it's a self portrait with phrases I strive to be every day, which is be bold and be beautiful. This took about three days to complete, but I liked how it came out, and this was the first time I did something like this. This next piece is just a simple sketch of a rose. Um, it's not really all that, but it was a sketchbook piece. So. These next few slides are basically a poster of one of a really famous graphic designer, April Griman. Um, I used her techniques and her design to basically make a poster about her. So after I did the layout on Illustrator and I set up all the pictures and how I wanted it to look like, I printed it out and I documented pictures of it as well. So this is my final piece and one of my strongest pieces in this portfolio. 
This is an app design for the MTA. I live in New York City and plastic cards are not cutting it anymore. We live in a digital society and even though this wasn't my personal idea, this was thanks to one of my counselors that gave me this idea, I decided to go through and design an app that would basically make it easier to refill your metro card while doing the same thing as a normal app would do for transit such as transit or google maps so it has service updates to show delays or schedule changes and that way you would know what's expected through your smartphone all in one app while refilling your metro card all in one app and basically i did this little mock-up of how the app would work so i didn't do every single button or every single um basically every single detail but i did enough to showcase what the app is supposed to do and this program that i used i believe it was called mock plus i basically just used the free trial period to do this so that took a lot of work because I had to get it done in like a week. Yes, I was being cheap. I was not going to pay for the whole service just to use it for one project. So, yeah. You guys should check it out if you ever want to do something like this. I recommend it. It was pretty neat. So, that so. concludes my portfolio. So, here are some tips and tricks that I used and acquired through like portfolio reviews and through advice from teachers and counselors and what I've been through personally. So tip number one is starting with a strong piece and ending with a strong piece. First impressions do last longer and you want to leave them with something to remember your portfolio about. Like you want to keep them wanting more, you want to keep them real in. you know what I'm saying? Tip number two, quality over quantity. Schools would rather see five strong pieces of work that shows creativity and effort than like 10 rushed okay pieces. Even if you feel that all of them are worth showing, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to scare them away. Too much pieces can be overwhelming to the eye. So tip number three is combining each page into one big artboard page. If you think about each page as a collage piece on a collage board, you could show different angles and highlights of a two-dimensional piece and make it into sort of a three-dimensional piece because it feels like they have the piece right in front of them and you could show them details that they wouldn't normally see at first glance. So tip number four is putting process work in. Process work is very important because it shows that you have ideas and you know how to put it on paper. Even if your technique isn't the best, the fact that you know how to express what's on your mind and what's in your head is already amazing. They're teaching you technique. They just want to know that you're able to make full ideas and you could express those so ideas. So tip number five, your SAT and ACT scores are just as important, if not less important, than your portfolio to some schools. So don't get me wrong, you have to do well on your SATs and your ACTs to get into very prestigious schools that have design programs, but if you took the exams at least three times, instead of taking it a fourth, use the time you would to prepare for the exam to improve your portfolio. Tip number six, make sure there's a variety in your portfolio. People viewing your portfolio need to see more than just paintings. 60% of your strongest, 30% you're comfortable with, and 10% experimental. Your portfolio should be like, this might sound corny, but it should be like salsa, okay? It should have different flavors, different vegetables, and it has to mesh, it has to mesh well together. It can't just be random. So tip number seven, this is my last tip, and this may seem obvious, but you have to Google anything you want to learn. Like, it's not cheating if you do. This is a way to discover new ways of doing a certain type of art, new ways to improve your technique, and it's beneficial. So, 
search it up and you'll be surprised you might get better at something and that might be your experimental or something you'll be comfortable in for part of your portfolio so that's all I have for you guys thank you for watching and stopping by my video um, remember everyone is different every artwork is different every application is different um, so just remember to be true to yourself put your best foot forward and don't let failure be one of your fears okay if the school don't want you they don't deserve you so yeah please like comment and subscribe down below and see you later